Greetings. It's my devotion for February the 5th. Entitled Seasons. Um, taken from Joshua chapter 22, verse 3 to 8. Joshua 22, 3 to 8. In New Living Translation. Um, based on the devotion series, The Bible in 366 Days for Men of Faith. And women, boys and girls, just in case, you know, yeah, I don't know who is watching this video. During all this time, you have not deserted the other tribes. You have been careful to obey the commands of the Lord your God right up to the present day. And now the Lord your God has given the other tribes rest as he promised them. So go back home to the land that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you as your possession on the east side of the Jordan River. But be very careful to obey all the commands and the instructions that God, that Moses gave to you. Love the Lord your God. Walk in all his ways. Obey his commands. Hold firmly to him. And serve him with all your heart and your, all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away. And they went home. Moses had given the land of Bashan, east of the Jordan River, to the half-tribe of Manasseh. The other half of the tribe was given land west of the Jordan. As Joshua sent them away and blessed them, he said to them, Go back to your homes with the great wealth you have taken from your enemies, the vast herds of livestock, the silver, gold, bronze, and iron, and the large supply of clothing. Angus Bushan says, The Lord undertakes for us in different areas of our lives in different seasons. He provided manna for the Israelites in the wilderness until they could provide for themselves. The Lord will supply what we need while we need it. As soon as we are able to undertake for ourselves in that area, He will cease to supply in order for us to mature. I agree with this. Um, God, sometimes we have long-term needs. Sometimes we have short-term needs. And the Bible says, my God shall supply all he needs. So, so if the need is short term, he, he will come true. And then, well, it's over. We, we move on to something else. And if it's long term, then, then, then you know there's a sustained uh, support from God. But after a while, it, 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 it doesn't let us stay on milk. And mashed potatoes lets us move on to something stronger. With what he instills in us, we then are left to move on our own to mature and, and develop. There are people that pass through our lives for seasons. Some to strengthen us, some to encourage us, some to challenge us help us to be better individuals, more compassionate, more sensitive, more, I don't know, more giving, you know, there's, there's always some aspect of our lives that needs developing. And through all of that, God is dear. And these Israelites had completed the mission. Everybody was going over, they said, no, do you want to stay on this side? And Moses said, yeah, well, you can stay on that side, but you got to come over here and help us fight first, the enemy. And after the battle is over, after we have fulfilled or received the promise of God, after we uh, have taken over the land, you can go back. And as in any good agreement, Joshua said, well, you have done your part. Now go back and take uh, the proceeds with you. But remember that while you may be over on the other side, you are still, you are still the Israelite. And you must remember to obey and respect and worship the Lord, your God who has brought you through. Never forget God, never forget who you are, wherever you may go. 
And it's, it's a challenge to me because I live in so many countries in the last 27 years. Um, when I say home, some people think it's Barbados, it's not home. Because I was living in St. Lucia, so home is, is Castries. Home was Belize City, home was Bermuda, home, 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 home was Kingston, Jamaica, home. Uh, where else did I live? I don't even remember now. Um, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Um, but every one of them was home. And wherever I sleep, that's home. And I breathe air there, that's home. I eat food there, that's home. Um, and then you move on. And, and while, while you're in that home, you meet people, um, you establish relationships. Some of them will last for a lifetime. Others will only last for the time that you are there. Um, and life is it's funny like that. But in every encounter, always remember, uh, uh, I, this is my devotion, so I say that to myself. Always remember that you are a child of God. Always remember you are a Christian. Always remember you are chosen. A child of God, a Christian, chosen. Maybe somebody watching this right now that's not a Christian. You are still chosen. You are still special. And whoever you believe in, know that you are special to whoever you believe in. Yeah. I know that I just said that. I know a whole lot of people watching this and saying, what did he just say? Is he a pastor? Yeah, but there is no denying that Christianity is not the only religion in the world. <laughs> and people believe in other things and other, you know, higher powers or whatever. And we must respect that. No. <clears throat> because we grew up hearing about God. We believe in God, but there are other people that believe in other things. <coughs> Excuse me. So, whoever is watching this, if you're a Christian, remember God. If you belong to another, other religion, religion, be faithful to that. Um, at the end, me as a Christian, I believe in eternal life. I believe I will be with God. I don't know what you believe in, but be faithful to what you believe in. But regardless of whatever you do, make sure that you live a positive life. Make sure that the relationships that you get into, the experiences that you have, the encounters that you have with people, wherever you are in this earth, Make sure that when you separate, when you leave that place, when you, when the season is over, that you leave on good terms. That you leave knowing that you have sown a, a, a positive seed in the lives of the persons that have met you. Uh, if that has not been the case, ask God for forgiveness and God, ask God to help them anyway to be good in their lives. That's what I do. And just leave the rest up to God. And that's how we end it today. Blessings.